This Southeast Asian woman is shocked that her Korean husband knows nothing about her heritage. What's going on here? Listen, you cannot blame me. Like, it's not really that common a knowledge, but maybe I should learn. We got to talk about this viral Reddit post. My husband did not know there are Asian ethnicities without a country that exists. Long story short, this is woman is Hmong. She's married to a Korean man. Actually, first time I've ever heard of that couple. Her, his relatives came to visit and was shocked to find out that they plan on teaching their daughter English, Korean, and Hmong because they didn't even know Hmong people had their own language. Ooh. Then she questioned more, and her husband had no idea that there were Asian subgroups or tribes that didn't have their own nation state, and she didn't know how to feel about it. Should she be super offended? Is this just a function of what people know? Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Smile Sauce at SmileSauce.com. Andrew. Is a Korean person or maybe an East Asian person with all their privilege of having everybody be aware of their instances or their news or their culture, are they ignorant for not knowing much about Southeast Asia? Well, let's talk about it because I think that what you're talking about is just a dynamic of any larger group marrying someone from a smaller group that is lesser known that, to be honest, is not on the pop culture side, or I guess like mainstream wise as well known. Obviously there is no like H pop that people know, although we know some H pop, but there is, it, not, it's, it's not popular. Gran Torino is the only Asian American or depiction in America of Hmong people on a yeah. mainstream level in terms of Hollywood. Yeah, I'm, I mean, listen, we got a list of all these questions that I think whether are like, what privilege do East Asian people have over Southeast Asians? Are East Asians commonly ignorant about Southeast Asian stuff? We're gonna kind of talk about all these questions here, but I first off wanna address like, listen, if you're marrying someone, why hasn't this conversation came up earlier? This husband probably should have done like, 10 minutes of research on Hmong people. You may like, watch like four YouTube videos. Four YouTube, should have watched our YouTube videos. All right, so that's about 40 minutes. And then he could have chat GPT'd like five different questions about Hmong people. But that wasn't uh, really out then at that time. Yeah, and, and so, and then like, you know, we, there's some YouTubers, David Yang, the artist is Hmong from Minnesota. But, but so I'm just saying, yeah, it's kind of the husband's fault for being ignorant, to be honest. But why didn't you ask him this stuff earlier? It's, you, it, but- is it also possible that this girl is a Korea boo? I so don't then, know. of course, you know what I mean. Then they're going to be like, yeah, mm. it's kind of your fault for asking him about, hey, do you know any Hmong people? And I'm like, you've been married for like four years already. Right, right, right. Anyway, real quick, I got this map of Asia, Andrew. I go over this all the time to explain to people. You got your Siberian, Altaic, Asians, Andrew. Let's just call them Arctic tundra Asians. Mm. They live in the snow, okay? It's very cold up there. Then you've got Yellow River Farmer Mountain Asians, East Asians, okay? You've got Tai Kadai, Tropical Asia, and then Austronesian Island Asia. Mm. Those are essentially the four major groups, but there's a lot of mixing amongst that. It's very, you know what I mean? Like, especially borderland groups, they tend to mix. So, so David, real quick, we're going to get into these questions that a lot of people are wondering. Is it an East Asian thing to be ignorant about Southeast Asia. Is that just like a dynamic that always happens? Okay, okay. Let me just say this. Factually, the ethnic diversity in Southeast Asia is significantly higher than East Asia. Like this, the ethnic diversity. It's a very, very, very mixed place. <clears throat> but I would say yes and no. I, I want to say in this, yo, you guys, relax. I want to say it might be a little bit more of a Korean thing than a Chinese thing. And Japanese sure. thing. I don't think Japanese people know much about Southeast Asians. But I actually think Japanese people learn more in school about it, actually, Maybe. than Koreans do, from what I know. Um, I would say the Chinese, they tend to be a lot more like pan-Mongoloid, I guess, like in terms of knowledge base, but also could be more limited. So, I mean, I guess in general, East Asians, sometimes they could be so into their own culture, they would know less, right? Unless they're diasporic. Chinese themselves or Koreans or Japanese living in Jakarta, for example. But isn't it just that like the further your people are from that people, most likely you'll know less. Like if it's like Indonesia and Japan, which is pretty far from each other, I guess I wouldn't expect them. To, I guess you wouldn't expect, I guess, East Asia. I guess. But it, Japan like also did a lot of like, let's be honest, and you know, the, the excursions into Asia. Oh, no, they... They try to take over Southeast Asia. Actually, right. we should note that. Actually, Japan actually tried to take over Southeast Asia. So in a weird way, 
they might know more. <laughs> no, Korea is like in a place because they've never been colonialist and they're more up there deep in the Northeast, yeah. more near Manchuria and Mongolia. So I can see, but China actually has borders with Southeast Asia. I, I will so say this. I'm just going to say this. I think Southern Chinese in particular, because it is closer to Southeast Asia, border Southeast Asia, okay? And there is a lot of Southern Chinese blood or Chinese blood in Southeast Asia. I think Southern Chinese- As well China, as Thai Kadai blood in Southern China. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I would say Southern Chinese generally, from what I know, know more about Southeast Asian culture because it's just proximity-wise closer, shared a lot. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So back to that Asia map, people in bordering places tend to know more about each other due to pings and proximity. That's logical. Point number two, Andrew, what privileges do East Asian people have over Southeast Asians? I had to ask Chad GPT to get the answer because I had the answer, but I wanted to get the, you know, the solidified scientific one. Um, there is uh, advantages in socioeconomic status, historical context, societal perceptions, and representation. Yeah. So, I mean, so overall, East Asian countries are more well represented globally. They are more powerful uh, globally, they have produced more goods. And yeah, I mean, so they're more well-known. So like people generally have a fleshed out image, whether it's a stereotype, they have an image of what a Chinese person, a Japanese person, and a Korean person is like. Are you saying chopsticks, dumplings, and yeah, Confucius? And, and some people now have an image what an ABG is like, and that may be more closer to a Viet <laughs> girl. Right. Uh, point number three, and by the way, I do think that East Asians should do watch at least way more YouTube videos on Southeast Asian than they do, to yes, be honest. But I will say this, guys. As much as people don't fully know, and people, when I say people, I mean all people around the globe, don't know as much about Southeast Asian culture, one thing I will say is that all people almost love Southeast Asian food. Like anything between Thai, Viet, Malaysian, especially those three foods are the most well-known, like, I would say, Southeast Asian foods that people love. Lao food, too. Yeah, but, Lao, but Lao food, is food being folded into Isan of at least in terms of that part of Thailand. All right, number three, Andrew. What happens when a more powerful known Asian marries a lesser known Asian? Does that mean that the powerful one doesn't need to know anything about the less powerful one? Or is that just, like, any sort of leverage? I don't know. I mean, you, you should. Listen, I think... This Hmong lady, maybe while dating this Korean guy, maybe didn't make her Hmong culture like a thing. Maybe she didn't ask. Like, I'm assuming you must have cooked him or brought him to a Hmong restaurant at some point. I don't know where you guys live. But, like, I guess if she never brought it up and he never looked into it, then they're just a couple that just didn't talk about it. And then only when they have a kid are they having these hard conversations about like, hey, is the kid going to learn some Hmong, you know, along with Korean and uh, English? And I'm just like, you should have had this conversation earlier. I have a Taiwanese, I know a Taiwanese guy who married a Hmong girl. And he's like a rider for the culture, man. He almost like was trying to set up a video for us to eat like Hmong food in New York City. We just haven't gone around to doing it. But like, he is like, he's all about the community. So he's like a Taiwanese guy. He almost like, like put, took the responsibility or some, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not saying he turned into a Hmong person, but he did. He's like repping. He's like, yo, yo, Hmong is like lesser known. Like uh, people know Taiwanese stuff, whatever, whatever. Hmong, this new stuff, like check it out. Right, 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 right. And But it's going to vary per person, right? Like some people would do that. Some people won't. It's just a variance just like in any population. And point number four, is East Asia more homogenous than Southeast Asia? How come they can't understand tribes and mixed people? That's what she asked in her original Reddit post. I had to look it up. Yes, Andrew, they are, uh, East Asian countries are a lot more homogenous. Uh, ethnically, 90% and up, usually one group. Sometimes some Southeast Asian countries, uh, only 50 or 60% one group, 40% everybody else. That means they are just more mixed by definition, which means, yeah, people are just more accustomed to it. Um, anyway, let's just get into the comments section here. Somebody said, you know, China is actually really, really diverse. And that's why uh, basically saying that, no, no, I think Chinese people know a lot about other Asians. And I think the truth is, Andrew, some do and some don't. But technically, the opportunity is there to be more into it because the diaspora is so yeah. widespread. Yeah. I mean, I think in China, they talk about the 56 legally recognized minority populations within China, right? Um, you know, Uyghurs being one. I mean, there's Hui people. I think Hui is one. Yeah, there's Hui. Miao people. There's all these, you know what I mean? There's, there's all these Zhuang, different- There's which is, yeah, there's a ton. Yeah, there's a ton of different- tribes in China that China does recognize. But does that mean that the average Chinese person, first of all, there's a lot of 
you know, educated and uneducated people in China, by the way. Uh, does the average person in China, like, know about meow food? Maybe, maybe not. Yunnan food. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it is flavorful. So, yeah. I guess, like, it, it's really just a, if you're at the top of the mountain and you're, and you're told you're the top dog, of course, you're probably going to, on average, know less about other people who are not as well known. Right, right, right. Sort of like how a lot of countries in America, uh, the world know about American culture, but America doesn't know much about other countries. I mean, doesn't cultures. everybody know more about British and French culture than they do about what Nordic culture is? Yeah, even Nordic culture, which is actually still a little bit popular, yeah. but not nearly as popular. Do you guys know about Polish culture? How come you guys don't know about Polish culture? All right, this next comment blamed it on Koreans. This guy said, Pretty much ignorance. Koreans tend to be more insular and maybe even xenophobic in my experience. And then this Korean person said, I found this hilarious. Sorry on behalf of my fellow Koreans. This is Korea is the most racially, ethnically, and linguistically homogenous nation on earth, much more than China, Japan, or any other Southeast Asian countries. So you just have to forgive us. This is our situation. Uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that Koreans are pretty insular and like we all know, like, Dude, I have Korean friends who, not anymore, but they were, like, when we, what, maybe 15 years ago, they didn't even really know anything about Chinese people. No, they had no idea, which is crazy because China's right there. But then uh, I would say that I, you could still meet an older Korean that does not know the difference between Thailand and Taiwan. Not a younger one, but an mm -hmm. older one, I think for sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, they're just kind of, like, doing their own thing, and I think their own culture is so killing it. Why would they need to, Right. Unless you're a K-pop star that's trying to break open that market, you don't, right? Um, anyway, somebody said, point number two, somebody said, don't blame it on anything, but just nobody studies stateless people, period, around the world. Mm. Basque people, Andrew, you went to a Basque restaurant, Kurdish people in Turkey or around the Middle East or, you know, Poland, saying that basically people, uh, obviously Poland's not stateless, but like people don't study people without nation states because that's the only way they teach you in school. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, Andrew, Kurdish people, by the way, have this like uh, pilaf rice cooked in a cake shell. Right. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's a Hmong flag emoji yet. Maybe there should be. I think there's an argument that there should be a Hmong flag if they have one, even though they don't have a nation. But, you know, you can have a flag for a tribe if there's a tribal flag. Right, right, right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it, even then it gets really granular because you, you're using the Hmong green or the Hmong white or whatever like that. Moving on to number three. Some people are saying, but I'm Southeast Asian myself, and I wasn't aware of Hmong people, and Hmong people live in Southeast Asia in places like Laos and Vietnam. I mean, Andrew, how much do you think it is that just not some people's parents like come from the city and did business with a bunch of, or they have relatives that are a bunch of mixes, but some people's parents don't really teach their kids anything about dude, Asians, dude, like split I, I sub demos and stuff. At the end of the day, nobody's blaming someone for if they weren't raised with that information. The blame comes in is when you have a friend or a significant other that is of a group and you did zero research. Like you weren't even curious about them. And you're still not curious, right? Even after they asked you to be curious. Yeah, if, if they asked you to be curious. But even if, you, if they didn't ask you, you should have done a little bit of research. Because then like, what does this like Korean husband think he's marrying? Like just a, yeah, is a Hmong just like a tribe of... Uh, Korea or something like what does he think what does he think Mong is maybe not doing any research I, I was thinking he probably was just thinking they speak Lao or Viet yeah. or whatever country. I'm not saying he should be an expert or that he has to fund the Mong American Museum or something like I'm not saying all that I'm just saying like 30 minutes of research guys 30 minutes on your significant part your uh, your partner your wife 30 minutes yeah, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense. 30 minutes for the rest of your life. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, Andrew, it says, it's privilege. East Asians are seen superior to Southeast Asians, so that's why the history gets more attention. And they only know about themselves and don't know anything about Southeast Asia. Um, for example, Han Chinese are seen as the default Chinese. And basically, he says, on top of that, Americans are even more ignorant of geography, so your husband is double ignorant. Mm -hmm. I would say this. Uh, this comment obviously was like a little bit intense, but I get where it was coming from. But I, you know what my biggest thing is? And here's my final takeaway on this. It's not that when I, when I hang out with Southeast Asian people, you know what I've realized? And tell me if you agree with me or not, Andrew. I just realized they care a lot less about what tribes you or your parents or your grandparents came from. Mm -hmm. I find that East Asians tend to care significantly more. 
Unless they're really Americanized. For sure. For sure. I agree. Like, they're clear less about, like, blood quantum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, yeah, I do think so. I think especially the more Northeast Asian you get, to be honest, even, like, outside of Southern China. I think north of Southern China. Even the Northern Chinese probably care more than Southern, to be honest. Yeah, they probably care more about your blood makeup. You know, obviously, I have Southeast Asian friends who just found out they're, like, half Chinese, blood wise but they identify as you know southeast asian fully or like you know and it doesn't really matter like that doesn't that conversations sometimes when you grow up with people those conversations don't really come up um about your family but definitely i would say east asians do talk about that more yeah, yeah northeast asians i would say for sure for sure and like we said these are just observations like generally i'd be surprised if people in the comment section really degree disagree with that observation or that insight so it's just what it is anyway guys let us know what you think in the comment section below i think that they as a family andrew have some youtube videos to delve into hey guys uh op <laughs> if, you, if you're if your korean husband is looking for some youtube videos Maybe we, we have a Hmong food video. We did a couple about Sunisa Lee. We did something about Hmong's not being East Asian. And then also uh, check out some of these Hmong artists uh, from our videos as well. All the information in the world is at your fingertips, guys. Ask whatever your favorite AI server model of choice is. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. But Andrew, even though all the AIs, AIs out there, it's still on the human to have the desire and curiosity. Yep. Until next time, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.